Hi, I'm Mayor Craig Thurman representing Ward 2 and you're watching Broken Arrow City Council Highlights. Hi folks, we're coming to you from City Hall. We're in the Rose District in Broken Arrow. I'm City Manager Michael Spurgeon and welcome to this edition of City Council Highlights. Here's what happened at the October 4th City Council meeting. Council approved all items on the consent agenda. Most of the items on the consent agenda this session were routine items like payment requests and contract awards and renewals. Putting these items together in a consent agenda allows for the council to vote on them in one motion and move along in the meeting. Sometimes the agenda will have multiple items regarding the same project. For instance, this week we had three items accepting warranty deeds and easements along 9th Street where we plan to widen the road. Each item pertained to a separate plot of land, so they were listed separately instead of lumping them all together. Quick update on the project, we're about halfway done with the land purchases along 9th Street. We are still on schedule and we anticipate beginning construction next summer. In general business, Mayor Craig Thurman on behalf of the city took the Mayor's Monarch Pledge, joining 190 other cities and organizations throughout the country in vowing to help our nation's most iconic butterfly. The Monarch population has significantly decreased over the past 15 years, largely due in part to a decrease in milkweed. Milkweed is the only food source for the Monarch caterpillars. The Parks Department will be planting milkweed gardens, or way stations as they're called, in parks around the city to help our butterfly friends. In Bama, the authority authorized the purchase of two new garbage trucks. Here's Lee Zirk, General Service Director, with some fun facts about our trash service. Well, you know, Broken Arrow Sanitation crews are very fortunate to be able to uh, pick up our residential customers with good quality equipment. In order to be able to do that, this equipment has to be replaced on a regular basis. We pick up over 40,000 tons of trash every year. That means each truck has to make 1,200 stops per day on each collection day. That equates to about 50 pounds of trash for each residential household customer. We replace trucks on a seven-year basis, so after its seventh year, the truck gets retired and becomes a reserve unit for another three years. So on its tenth year, it's ready to be sold. Okay, folks, that's a wrap for this edition of City Council Highlights. However, I do have a couple of items that I'd like to point out regarding community events. Good news, the Rose District Fountain is now open. It's open around 10 a.m. in the morning, and we keep it open until late in the evening. We're hoping to basically keep it open until the weather gets cold. Come out during the day to splash in the fountain or at night to see the amazing light show. The new Neen Heist basketball and tennis courts are now open. They are awesome, I can tell you. The facilities can be used from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. all days of the week. Come out and shoot some hoops or play a quick game of tennis or there's a new sport called pickleball. Also, great news about the road work at Aspen and Kenosha. We're in the final stretch and starting next week, left turns will be allowed. There will still be a little bit of work to do along Kenosha near the railroad and by Sycamore Street, but access to the intersection will be greatly improved. I'd like to thank our contractor and engineering and construction team for their hard work on this project. Finally, congratulations to Farhad Daroga for being selected as the head of our new Special Projects Division. Farhad has been with the city for 36 years, most recently as city planner. In his new position, he will focus on long-term planning for our city. Once again, thanks for joining us for City Council Highlights. I'm City Manager Michael Spurgeon. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you real soon. For the full agenda and video of the City Council meeting, go to brokenarrowok.gov. If you have any questions about the items discussed in the video, please call my office at 918-259-8419 or email me at mspurgeon at brokenarrowok.gov.